uh, I wanna encourage all of you to revisit your system for diagnosing and treating periodontal disease in your practice. Revisit that. Because if it's been a while since you've done that, then I can speak pretty confidently that your system for diagnosing and treating periotherapy needs to be updated. Maybe you have new team members. Uh, it, so we need to calibrate our current team with this. Uh, and it's, it's overdue to do this. If you're anything less than 30% of the adults seen over, over a month being treated with some mix of those codes, um, that you are uh, lots of potential here. And that will help you get to that 33% of your total office coming from hygiene, uh, total office production coming from hygiene. Now, we do this with our clients. We check. I often ask my client, hey, how do you think you're doing with, with periodontal therapy in your practice? And, and most of my clients say, well, I, I think we're doing really well, Gary. So would you mind if we check? And, and they'll often say, well, how would you do that? And I say, well, I would pull up a report over a period of time looking at what mix of adults are being treated with these codes. And he said, yeah, go, go for it, Gary, but I think you're going to find we're doing pretty well. And remember the benchmark, Naren, was 30%. Of your adults. Yes. I remember having a conversation with a new client recently, and he said, Gary, I think we're doing pretty well. You know, a number of years ago, we went to, pre COVID, we went to, uh, you know, uh, uh, took the whole team to a uh, paratherapy course, and we, you know, successfully implemented a lot of that. I think we're doing pretty well. Well, we pulled the data up. Um, remember, the goal is 30%. He was at 7%. 7%. Naren, what's the uh, report card grade there? Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know. Failing. Failing, yes. It's failing. Yes. Now, think, he said, well, we had been to a course pre-COVID. Um, I asked him, I said, by the way, when was that course? And his memory was, well, it was pre-COVID. And when he actually looked it up, it was 2015. Mm -hmm. So what's happened with whatever system they put in place after that, especially given COVID and all the craziness, it's eroded. Systems right. have a way of eroding. So what was once done and fresh has, has now, and he said, as a matter of fact, Gary, I have two new hygienists that weren't part of that training in 2015. So there were some logical reasons why that had eroded. But that's true in so many practices. So that would be another specific tip in building this blueprint is go back and revisit your protocols, spend some time with your team. A, a really cool thing to do when you do that with your team, to calibrate your team, is together, doctor, you and your hygiene team members, read the book, Beat the Heart Attack Gene. B-E-A-T, Beat the, the Heart Attack Gene. Um, it is a brilliant book. Um, it's all about the oral systemic connection. Um, and it will be a great alignment exercise. It's written by Dr. Bradley Bale. Uh, he's an MD, he's a physician but he is our best advocate for the oral systemic connection. Uh, and he is an amazing voice in this. There's a quote that I'll share with you that'll maybe motivate you to read that book. <clears throat> Dr. Bale, physician, says, all good health begins with the mouth. How's that for some cool support from our medical community? I wish all physicians believe that. All good health begins with the mouth. Anyway, read that book. That'll be a great way for you to calibrate your, your hygiene team members uh, and to really uh, anchor uh, your blueprint with paratherapy. Uh, and that'll result in at least 30% of your adults being treated by conservative periodontal therapy codes. And that'll be a strong push forward to have at least 33% of your total office production coming from